Hey guys, I welcome you to the second part of this chat GPT. If you haven't watched the first part, go and watch that part. The link is in description. So before I start, I want you to please subscribe this channel, like this video and share among your friends. And don't forget to provide your valuable comments because those comments help me to remain motivated and keep on making such videos for you. So let's get started. So guys, we are now on a browser and we are going to check what ChatGPT can do for us. So as a bug bounty hunter, the most important thing for us to automation. So understand how ChatGPT can help us in doing such automation is to first go and check what's our methodology is. So I have created a sheet for that and you have already seen that sheet in multiple places. Like uh, this is our target, this is we going to do check SSR, reset password, run and map other stuff. So let's take an example. We are going to do these things different methodology uh, first we will get the sub the all of the subdomain and then we will perform the httpx we are going to limit it till here we are not going to do the fuzzing stuff here only so let's understand that we want to do this we, this is our target example.co we want to get all of the subdomain and then go and check live subdomains onto it with the help of subfinder and httpx tools so let's go okay so we are going to tell chat gpt to create a bash script bash script to find subdomains with the help of subfinder and take the input from user for target so we are going to perform the first step so what our first step is this uh, just perform subdomain enumeration the target and save it in a file okay so this is it's going to show the best script what we can do first of all we need to install the subfinder running the command go get blah 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 create a new file called subdomain to find blah 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 here. okay so read p enter your subdomain here and target subfinder uh, hyphen d and the target is going to take it you just have to go and run this script cool so let's regenerate and try to find another script for the same one Let's see what it's going to show us this time. Okay, it's going to check for the target. Okay, it wants us to the, put the domain. Okay, so the first thing will happen when we run this script is just going to ask what is the domain. So we will give the domain and then it's going to perform the subdomain innovation on the domain. Cool. So now the script is ready. Uh, what we want to do now save in the above script save the subdomains in a text file okay so it's going to save the subdomains into a text file now So you can see it starts saving all those stuff into the subdomain.txt. Other stuff is just providing the subdomain notion and then running the file. It's fine. So what thing we want to do next is in the above script make the changes to find the live alive subdomains and save them in our file so it's going to use the http probe there so as you've seen is going to update this script only this part of the script So finder subdomain HTTP alive subdomains. If you don't have this uh, HTTP probe, you can also say in the above script use HTTPX 
instead of HTTP PRO okay PROPP single P only okay. is just mentioning that what prerequisite uh, you have to do you just need to have sub finder mm -hmm. as well as HTTPX so it's just going to modify our script So as you have seen, it's provided this command and changed the HTTP Pro to HTTPX. So you can save this file. It's also telling you to save this file, also provide the executable permissions and then you can run it. Okay, fine. This is the first thing that we can achieve with the help of ChatGPT. So the second thing that we are going to understand with the help of ChatGPT is the article. So now you know I explained the articles, but if you want to just skip the videos and just want to go with the chat GPT way, chat GPT going to explain you the article, we can also do. So for that, let's go to medium. We have multiple article here. So let's take a smaller one, zero click account takeover and uh, two fat growth and dish wiper. So let's take this one. So we are going to copy it from account takeover. We don't want to understand account takeover. Okay, we will take it from the top. Recovery has found a browser. We'll go back to thanks. Okay. So we are going to paste this content here only, and in the last we will mention explain this article. So it's going to explain this article to us. So it's going to provide you a really summarized way what the article is saying. So it's appeared that you are describing three potential vulnerability in the Facebook system, a bug that allow you to confirm a new email without having to prove the ownership of it, a issue that allow you to take over an account takeover, a bug that allow you to bypass to every when confirming the phone number in other way. It is important to report potential vulnerability and all other stuff. It's also mentioning those things. So this is the second thing that the chat GPT can do. It's going to explain the article for you. Although we can see it didn't explain the article to the best, so you can keep on subscribing my channel and keep on learning from the videos that I'm going to provide. So the third thing that we can do with the help of this chat GPT is to create a nuclear template. So every server has some .env file that keep store of the environment variable take the example of your github tokens your aws access keys and other secrets are also provided in the environment file so let's go and tell it to create a nuclei template for dot env file in server let's see if it's going to make this for us or not so here I want you to understand that this chat GPT server is going to understand the query on the basis of how you are providing the content, how your query looks like. So sometimes what happens is going to create uh, give you a bullshit answer. Here you can say, see how short answer he did to give to me and how bullshit thing he gave me here. So let's see how the template is going to look like. See, he simply said this path, this and this blah, blah. Okay, no issue. So let's try to create another template create a nuclei template to find wordpress users let's see if it's going to give some answer to us or not Okay, these are giving small small templates for us. We can also create a big template. Let's try to create a big template now. Create a nuclei template to check the default credentials in the Apache servers in all Apache servers. Let's see. If 
is going to do that or not. Again, this created a very small template for us, so it's fine. We can go with our next topic that we're going to discuss in this video. So let's consider that you have an XSS payload. XSS payload examples. Here I go with this one. And I want to do explain me this. Okay, I can explain this to me. Explain. Explain this. XSS payload. Okay, so it's going to explain the payload for us. It's also going to explain what these angles are doing there and how it's going to limit out and how it's going to come out from the HTML. And it's also going to explain us how it get popped out from the HTML code. So here you can see it's provided an explanation for that. So guys, this was all for this video. We understand how ChatGPT can help us to understand the XSS payload as well as how we can create the nuclei template as well as you can create the Burpsuit plugin with it and how you can use it for automation because automation is a key in a bug bounty. So till next video, bye bye and sayonara.